Thanks, Paul. Yeah. New at 5, San Francisco police on the trail of two serial robbers when they stumbled onto something much more alarming. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez on the arsenal of weapons they uncovered. Joe? Alan, when the cops came in and busted the home of one of the suspected robbers last week, they tell me they just kept finding more and more weapons, and then they kept looking and found some bomb-making materials. Among the 38 weapons police recovered, 22 of them were assault rifles. This 50 caliber revolver was among the dozen or so handguns. Investigators say some of the weapons were in a safe, but others were just out in the open inside this nondescript house on Nursery Way in South San Francisco. A neighbor who does not want to talk on camera captured these images of the police action here one week ago today. Police also discovered materials to make explosives and even a couple of crudely built pipe bombs. At that point, we stopped our search and we contacted the San Francisco bomb squad who responded to the scene. Bomb squad officers responded and rendered those uh, explosive devices safe, which allowed us to continue the search. Investigators say there is no indication terrorism was a motive. The case started with a series of robberies. Police dubbed the suspects the Lettermen because one of the men wore a varsity Letterman's jacket during the robberies. At Harvard Hills Market on Folsom, police say the suspects pulled guns on two employees outside and forced them back inside to rob them. The fact that a cast like this exists is unnerving, but the fact that now these weapons and these explosives are in the possession of law enforcement versus somebody else is the way we, we would want it to be. The two suspects, Homer Matthews and Austin Chin, are facing charges related to the robberies, but not the weapons. That's because we're here in South San Francisco, another county. The San Mateo District Attorney may take the case, or they say it may go to the feds. Reporting live, I'm Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.